All right, what is going on, everyone? We have a ball review for you today, and we are going to be reviewing this ball, the Roto Grip Magic Gym. We're going to see if there is some magic in this gym. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, we're here. To tell you about our friends over at Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals really easy by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals directly to your door. Now, if you guys are like Kyle and I, and sometimes in your life you just have absolutely no time to do anything, sometimes on tour we get out of the bowling alley at 11 p.m., so we literally have no time to eat. And this is where a company like Factor comes in big. I mean, if you don't like to cook, if you don't have time, if you don't have the money, whatever it is, man, this company, uh, they, they come in clutch because they have great food. I mean, we are fans. Pretty much, we have tried every single one of these, and it's awesome. They have, they have stuff for people who are on keto, they don't like carbs. They have taco bowl, pork, beef, anything that you could want. They've got meals that are under 550 calories. They've got meals that are over 30 grams of protein. They've got anything that you can want and they're offering you 50% off, okay? So all you have to do is click the link, it's on the screen. Click the link in the description, factor75.com and use code BRADANDKYLE50 and you will receive 50% off your first order. So click the link, enter code BRADANDKYLE50 and then you'll be able to get 50% off. So that's our friends over at Factor, guys. Great company, great food. We appreciate them for sponsoring the video. Now back to the video. So this ball is special in a lot of ways and for a lot of reasons, but I'll tell you the first one. It's because it has the name Jim on it. And if you guys have been bowling the past couple of years, you've been familiar with a bowling ball just called the original Jim. And I've mentioned it in other videos, but this ball, the original Jim, is a ball that other companies haven't been able to figure out it is a ball that reads the mid lane very very strong and it it almost is too strong of a ball to where it almost just rolls out a little bit too much but it's the perfect balance because it doesn't it it hooks early it's strong but then it also continues through the pins and when storm guys are throwing the ball you know, other companies are, and it's working, other companies are looking around going, well, we don't make that shape. That's how unique the gym bowling ball is. And so they came out with the exotic, and that is a pearlized cover with the same core. And then now we have this thing, which is basically splitting the difference. It's a hybrid cover stock of the Microtrax. So the Microtrax Pearl was on the exotic gym. This is the Microtrax hybrid. So it just, I don't know. I don't know the exact chemistry, but it's definitely got a little less pearl in it. You can tell just by looking at it. It's just, it's dull. It comes, uh, it comes looking like the original gym. However, just with a little bit more pearl in there, making it a hybrid, it shouldn't be as strong as the original gym. And then I'm gonna compare it with another brand new ball that I just drilled, the Virtual Energy Blackout. Now, a lot of times when you're throwing these really strong bowling balls. You got to get out of them at some point because they're too strong and then you go to what we call cleaner weaker and uh, I'll go into this ball when I throw it but this would be a kind of a ball down when this ball starts being a little bit too strong we're gonna drop down to this with a cleaner cover and then we're gonna keep going from there but I'm gonna throw some shots with this thing we got actually I don't even know what we got out because college team bowled before I got here and uh, but it's the perfect pattern because it's a little long and it's a little used. The oil is kind of, you know, not in the front part of the lane. So we can definitely tell, like, as the lane transitions, is this ball going to burn up too much or is it still going to be able to go through the pins? And then if it does burn up too much, is the virtual energy of the ball to go through? So I'm going to throw some shots with this thing and then. about this ball because it is the gym. The gym, any ball is, I mean, I guess it, I guess the exotics pearl, it's gonna be a little harder to throw in like short patterns and you're gonna want to use that toward the breakdown. But I mean, the original gym and then something like this, you can throw it on long patterns, you can throw it on short patterns, you can throw it on medium patterns, you can throw it when everyone's struggling, you can throw it when the scores are high, you can throw it on house shot, you can throw it on anything. And uh, that's why they've hit a home run. That's why they keep coming out. So we also have a 
also have the virtual energy, but then we also have this uh, Tor Dynamics. And I, I chose this Tor Dynamics because it's on the asymmetric side. We have three asymmetric balls. And uh, this one has significantly less flare, significantly less differential. It's more of like the asymmetric IQ Tor-ish. And so we're going to test keeping it in the asymmetric family, you know, what happens when we shell down from a gym and then what happens when we like ball down like there is no flare in the tour dynamics even though it's asymmetrical so and really we're just looking at okay how far can i get it going to the right and it's still pick up now i've only thrown a couple practice shots with this tour dynamics and when you get it going to the right it does not want to back up so that's kind of the first thing in mind is uh all right what happens when this thing gets up going to the right going to the right pretty good and you can just tell just before it gets to the out of bounds portion just before it gets to that spot where it's not going to want to go it's going to want to slide it rolls it picks up now it's brand new ball brand new service brand new ball. but uh that's what you're looking for out of balls like this are balls that when you're bowling on something that doesn't make you feel like you can miss right or a long long pattern something like that you need a ball that's going to roll before it gets to that out of bounds portion. Okay, guys, I'm going to throw a bunch of shots here with all these different balls, and we're going to take a look. How much cleaner is the virtual energy? How much weaker is the tour dynamics? And can we get this ball to go through the pins, even though there's some breakdown? And what? So, throw some shots. Brooklyn and when we're, when we're testing balls we're really trying to figure out okay what does it do when I miss I mean, every ball is great when you're making shots but what happens when I miss a little slow into the right and what happens when I miss a little left in both of them and the one that was slow into the right hooked in big forward and the one that was kind of in slid and so that's that's what we get with the gym it, it it provides hook when other balls don't want to provide hook and it's also so big and strong that when you get it in the middle part of the lane where all the oil is it likes to roll out and slide and it kind of gives you that room. So now I got the lane hooking a little bit. The fronts are starting to go just after seven shots. And now this would be kind of an, actually a real time where I probably consider, even though I threw like some really good shots, uh, I could tell that at least on that last one, the Brooklyn, uh, the fronts are just starting to go a little bit. Even though it was slow, I could tell the fronts are starting to go. So just seeing that, I'm thinking, all right, well, let's see what a ball down does. You can tell one shot right there that that ball is just so much cleaner. It's pretty, uh, pretty wild. It's one thing I love about bowling is like just all these very difficult aspects you have to manage. Bowl balls, wow, just making sure they do what you want is hard. So here we go. Let's keep a uh, much, much cleaner ball. What you guys saw. I would have thrown that same shot with the gym. It was slower, it was a little you know, more aggressive, a little more. That ball's rolling before it even gets to the break where the, the magic gym is. That's why I threw four. I threw a similar shot on that one as the big four with the gym, and it just didn't overhook. It, it, the, the ball itself is just so much cleaner. That, uh, and you know, still, still a pretty strong core. A lot of people say like, 70% of ball motion is cover. You know, I don't know. But this, you know, this is still a strong bowling ball. And, uh, but the cover makes it seem and feel quite a bit weaker 
than what it's actually meant to be. Whereas this ball is just strong. I'll tell you what, if you get one of these uh, virtual energy blackouts, just make sure you hit light. That's three light hits in a row that I've carried. Yeah, like I said, you know, this is this is gonna be a pretty popular one-two punch. Especially the, the PBA tour coming up. Um, we go from, I mean, we throw the gym at my path. It doesn't even do a thing reactively. Play balls this clean that, you know, you get a little slow and they still don't overhook. The ones that you do get to hook generally are pretty sharp. So you gotta watch. So this one, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try and get it to hook and be pretty. You know, they say in the history of, I don't know, the last, since Reactive came out, the best Reactive balls are solid black balls. Uh, I mean, literally, a lot of the best balls since Reactive came out are literally solid. So, now we're gonna throw, we're gonna switch it up and go to a ball that has a much weaker core, but a stronger cover. So kind of the opposite of the virtual. And that was like a tad left of the house. That cover is going to read, is going to do a little bit more of what the Magic Gym's doing. It's, it's going to want to hook before it actually gets any like out of bounds. The difficulty with this right now is the cover. If the cover doesn't catch before you get to the out of bounds, then the uh, there's no diff, there's no flare, so it can be hard to get this thing to, to read. That's why it's great to have in the bag. It's so unique that when it works. Get a little bit of a there just to see what like the diff would do, and still carry light. It's also St. Charles. Yeah, the light, the light hits pretty good here. But I'm gonna, to end this video, I'm gonna throw the gym. The last couple I threw with the gym were like trip four, they were a little bit left, and then the last one was Brooklyn, so that's telling me, hey, at least a five board move. move. Okay, so I tried to, we moved to eight, and generally when you move eight, it's hard to just let it go. You tend to wanna grab it a little bit and make it hook, but clearly we don't have to do that with this ball. So we're just gonna let it go. Let me see if we can get you know, nice little wide hit. And to be honest with you, balls like the Magic Gym, if we get any farther left than that, it's not that they can't or won't work. It's not really what they're designed for. They're designed to just, you know, roll as early as possible. And that way you can throw it on a lot of the patterns. But when we get farther left than where I just threw, um, even if it strikes, there's probably some cleaner bowling balls that favor that kind of uh, that kind of angle that you're trying to use. So, you know, even though it is, uh, even though you can throw this thing on a lot of different patterns, and it's like my favorite ball of all time, at least the gym is one of them. Can't hate on the face too there, but uh, yeah, you know, it's still. It's so strong that it's gonna be hard for you to play like these super massive angles. And, you know, with a little bit of pearl inside, it's gonna do a little bit better at that than the gym. But uh, it's still, you know, this is gonna be your ball, your first two to three games out of the box. It's gonna be your ball when they're really hard and all you gotta do is get to the pocket. It's gonna be your ball when you just gotta get nine. This is gonna be your ball in a lot of scenarios. But generally, when we get really far left and start lofting the gutter, we'll put the ball down and go to something that helps us get down the lane a little more. All right, so I hope that gave you guys some information on the new Magic Gym. It is a blessing of a ball to be able to throw, especially when you throw it around around the PBA Tour and you watch the Storm guys bowl really well with it, and then you watch the other companies struggle to find that really, really strong, heavy rolling, deep, you know, into the lane uh, hook. And that's what this kind of ball provides, particularly with the, with the core. Um, but with this cover on it, it's gonna play pretty similar to a regular gym. And uh, that ball, I'm, I can't say it enough. I can't speak as many good words about it as possible. Um, the gym is a very unique ball. 
And so if you like the gem, if you like the exotic gem, the pros love both of those, you should get a magic. I mean, you should just continue to throw this core and the cover options that, they, that Storm puts on them because it's a difference maker. When you throw this, your opponents that don't have it go crap. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that and make sure you guys hit the like and the subscribe and we appreciate you for watching all of our videos. Go get yourself a magic gem. We'll see you later.